What's good, y'all? Red Sosa back in the building with another banger, man. So first things first, before we go ahead and get started, I just want to go ahead and say thank y'all for clicking on today's video. Thank you, God, for another day. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Now, anybody who has not joined the Rich Gang family, all you got to go ahead and do is be sure to turn on post notifications, hit that like button, and be sure to drop a comment down below right now. Where are you tuning in from watching today? I'm just curious. I'm coming out from Cali. Let me go ahead and know where y'all are tuning in from. But as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen today, I am bringing y'all the top three most toxic, rare, and best two-way slash lockdown defender builds on NBA 2K22 next gen. Now, I just want to go ahead and say first as well, congratulations to the class of 2022 y'all that is really something big go ahead and pat yourself on the back right now y'all accomplished something but man let's go ahead and get back into the making of these builds so what i want to go ahead and say first things first is also when it comes down to the making of all three of these builds be sure to follow along key for key on every single attribute and any number that i change because if you do go differently about how i'm bringing the bills to y'all i'm telling you you're gonna risk changing the bill name and if you want to go about it that way you definitely can do so but i'm just letting y'all know right now so with this one we're gonna go ahead and make it out of the 6 8 height when it comes down to the weight, I'm liking 280 with the wingspan of 7'6". Now, as for the height, I'm telling you, if you want to change it, you definitely can do so. But I feel like 6'8 is going to be the perfect balance. Not too big, but when it comes down to being able to guard smaller defenders, I truly believe this is going to be the perfect height to leave the build at. Now, once we go ahead and take a look at the finishing end, we're going to be able to get some pretty nice animations when it comes down to the post scoring. 80 close shot, which means we're going to be able to work on the inside pretty well. Well, same thing for the driving layup and then we do get a 92 driving dunk which is going to allow us to be able to get the elite contact dunks all you have to do though is make sure that you go with at least an 80 vertical to maintain those then when it comes down to the shooting we are actually looking pretty solid in this area as well so as you can see the 83 mid-range shot but then also when it comes down to the three-pointer 78 and really consider what this build is going to be able to do in the rack as well a 64 free throw but once you add boost to these builds honestly you're gonna get a huge animation jump when it comes down to what you're at right now but also consider the takeover now we get 23 shooting badges 21 for the playmaking 32 for the defensive end which is honestly gonna be the main part about this build is the defensive end so I did max out the speed acceleration I did go with the 60 just to get more defensive badges but if you feel like changing that you definitely can go about it differently now the takeovers we do get the glass cleaning also get the rim protecting playmaking so we will be able to break ankles and possibly speed boost now if you want to be more of a unique build I would definitely recommend going with the playmaking and then possibly the glass cleaning or rim protecting takeover I'm gonna leave it up to y'all but as you can see coming up at number one these super rare two-way post facilitator build and i'm liking the comparisons of giannis as well as a d now let's go ahead and get into the second making of the second build and as y'all can see this is a very toxic small forward build coming up at number two the two-way slashing playmaker but we are getting sharp shooting takeover now i have to go ahead and be real with y'all this is easily one of the most toxic small forward builds that you're going to be seeing all year but when it comes down to the animations that are going to be equipped on this build as well easily and possibly the best one guard build that you're going to be able to use now i know it's made out of the small forward but you can run this as the one if you truly wanted to especially with that height of 6 8 really going to be a very overpowered build to use at that position let's go ahead and get into the making though so y'all can see exactly what i'm talking about so what you want to go ahead and do put this build under the small forward position i know we can make it out of pretty much 
the point guard and shooting guard position, possibly even the power forward. But now, once it comes down to the physicals, this is one of the main parts that you have to stick with as well. Stay with the height of 6'7". Once we go ahead and get into the breakdown of the weight, I'm going to go with 181. And then once we go ahead and get into the wingspan, really, this should be based off of your own preference. But for my liking, I'm going to go with 7'1". Now... Once we go ahead and get into the breakdown of the attributes, man, just please be sure to follow along when it comes down to this. So, with the finishing, of course, we are going to be pretty strong in this area. This is a two-way slashing playmaker, so I want to be sure that we are able to unlock all of the contact dunks, but as well as still be able to shoot pretty efficiently. So... When it comes down to the close shot, we're going to go with an 85, even higher than the previous build that we just made together. Then when it comes down to the driving layup, I'm going to go with an 84 and a 92 driving dunk. That's going to bring us up to a total of 24 badges of this build. Once it comes down to the shooting, go with an 82 mid-range shot as well as an 82 three-pointer, 77 for the free throw, and we're also going to be able to get another 24 badges here. Once we go ahead and get into the playmaking, max out your ball handle as well well as the speed with both go with an 88 pass accuracy that's going to bring us up to a total of 27 badges here and then finally we're going to see what actually makes this build a two-way build so as you can see for the perimeter defense i went with an 82 as for the steel to be very specific on the badge count i did decide to go with the 47 but if you want to change this you definitely can get more steel on this build go with an at least an 83 block 86 defensive rebound and a 77 offensive go ahead and max out that speed max out the acceleration and remember we do have to go with at least an 80 vertical as for the stamina you can go with anything between between 180 and if you want to go ahead and try to get even more badges on this build or upgrade any other area all you have to do is really make your own adjustments carefully i would recommend taking off a little bit from the playmaking or you can even go ahead and get into the defensive end really comes down to what you want to do but this is the second build that i got lined up because look at what we're going to be able to do all around on the floor finish at ease with all the contact dunks be able to shoot pretty efficiently and get a 99 for the three-pointer and mid-range in takeover but as you can see i'm going with the shot creating and sharp shooting takeover and right here as y'all can see we have created the two-way slash new playmaker and i'm telling you this build is honestly going to be the best one that you can use if you want an all-around guard running the one position on your team now of course this is a small forward but you can pretty much make this build out of the one two and three now let's go ahead and get into the third and final build and as y'all can see man i'm going to be bringing y'all the small forward six eight two-way sharpshooter and just know if you did make it this far into the video i truly appreciate y'all thank you coming and joining the rich gang family man that means the world to me so welcome if you are here for the very first time but man if y'all haven't, we're already more than halfway through the video and some of y'all have not hit that like button. So can we go ahead and get at least 50 likes on this video? That is really going to help me out. Be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications because I'm uploading every single day. And if you're new, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But be sure to comment down below out of all three of these builds. Which one is your favorite and which one do you think is the best all around? So let's go ahead and get to the making of the third and final build. I'm going to go with the small forward position again as y'all can see. When it comes down to the height though, I did decide to go one inch higher with 6'8". Now, you can make this build at 6'7", of course, if you want to. And that's just one variation of this build. But I'm telling you, if you do decide to go ahead with the extra inch being 6'8", going to be a more all-around solid build. Now, you can go ahead and do exactly what I'm about to show y'all when it comes down to the version of the 6'8". But right here, pretty much everything will be the same. It's all just going to come down to your own preference, what you feel like is going to be best for your own play style. Now, let me go ahead and say right now, if I'm telling y'all, if you want to make your own changes to any of these builds, it's only because I know that when I see a build brought to me and I feel like I can make it or tweak it to be a little bit better or more like my own play style, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if you do see something that I can make better on all three of these builds, go ahead and let me know right now in the comment section because I want to be able to bring y'all not only the best builds, but when it comes down to the badges as well 
the ones with the most badges are honestly going to be the most overpowered as well as toxic but as you can see with this build we are able to get 26 total finishing badges once we go ahead and get into the breakdown of the shooting this is also going to be a very big part of this build as well now you can go ahead and max out that mid range if you want to that's going to change up the build name so i'm going to go with an 87 but you can max out that three pointer and with a sharp shooting takeover activated we're going to be able to get 99 for all of our shooting areas except the free throw but i'm telling you bringing that up to the 80s or 90s is still going to be very solid so we're going to have 26 finishing badges 28 shooting 25 playmaking and then 25 defensive to wrap it up and as you can see we are able to get the pro contact dunks on this build as well still able to dribble and we are 6 8 with a 7 1 wingspan now if you do want to make any changes to your physicals, you definitely can do so. But remember, just base it off of your own preference. And right here, we do get the slashing takeover, very clutch, shot creating, playmaking, and the sharp shooting. I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to y'all. Which takeovers you pick, if you made it to the end, man, you are a real one and a part of the family. Let's go ahead and check out the third build. And as y'all can see together, we have created the two-way sharp shooter. Now... Again, I just want to go ahead and say thank you, God, for another day and another opportunity. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to join the Rich Gang family. Hit that like button and be sure to drop a comment down below. Where did you tune in from today? I love y'all. I thank y'all. And man, God bless you. And with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank God and Rich out.